Hello, welcome to Sunshine MLS Plus. This short tutorial will guide you through entering a new listing and editing an existing listing inside of Sunshine MLS Plus. We're going to begin by logging in and from the Manage tab we're going to choose the Listings option on the submenu and from this screen you can choose to edit a listing by finding the listing using either the MLS number or searching for it using one of the search fields on the screen or you can choose to add a new listing. We're going to begin by adding a new listing. From the Add New Listing initial step, you'll be asked to locate the property that you want to add by searching the public records for the particular property. So you'll begin by indicating the property class for the property in question. Sunshine MLS Plus has six property classes, but we'll use residential for the purposes of this tutorial. You need to indicate the county that the property is located in, and then you can search for the property by providing the PID, the address, or the subcondo name. Based on your access level, you'll have a drop-down list of agents that you can input listings for, or you'll have your own agent ID and name auto-populated in the listing agent ID field. So you would choose the appropriate agent, listing agent, for the listing, and then you can search for the listing using any one of the three search fields. We'll just put in a PID for the property and we'll click search to locate the property. Once the system has located the properties that match your search criteria, to start a new listing you simply need to click select on the particular property in question that the system has pulled up. That's your property that you're trying to enter. So we'll click select in this case and what we'll get once we click select is the residential listing input form. The required fields are indicated by the red question mark as well as they're italicized and underlined. To activate a listing at the very least you have to have all of the required fields filled in accurately and at that point once that's completed you can say activate listing and what that will do is it will activate the listing and put it into the MLS listing database and the listing will be searchable by everybody using Sunshine MLS Plus. If you do not finish inputting a listing and activate it um, at the end of your session, what you can do is simply save as you go or and that listing will become an inactive listing and then you can come back to it later and you can put in the rest of the information and activate the listing when you're ready. So by providing all of the required information you'll be able to activate the listing and you'll see that at the beginning of the listing some of the information is already auto-populated and this is the public record information. You would simply go through the form and input all of the information that you have on the listing by selecting the appropriate values or inputting the appropriate values into the listing itself. And then once you're complete, completed, you can say activate listing to put it into the MLS database. As you input listings, as you input the data into the listings, you will see that the system will ask you to input accurate data. So for example, if you make a mistake and you input data that's invalid for the list price field, the system will automatically, as soon as you move out of the field, flag that field as inaccurate and it will tell you there's an error validating the list price field as a number. And we'll see that we put the character M into the list price field and so what we can do, and we'll also notice that the list price field is now marked with a red background in the box. This indicates that there's an error with the field and the listing will not be saved and none of the information with the listing will be saved until all of the errors are fixed. So to fix this error we simply remove the M from the list price and we move on to the next field. As soon as the error, the field validates, you'll see that the, the red is gone and the field is actually validated as an accurate value for the particular um, field in question, in this case list price. At this point if we try to activate the listing, the system will tell us that the listing can't be activated because we're missing some required data. So we'll click OK and what you'll see is there are a lot of fields at this point that are, have a yellow background um, and what this means is that missing data is required in these particular fields. So before you can activate the listing you have to pick a value for all of the yellow fields that you see on the form because these are all of the required fields. So as soon as you pick a value, the yellow 
this appears and this indicates visually to you that this field is now okay and that you can proceed to the next field. So once you've indicated values for all of the fields and activated the listing, you'll, the MLS number that's been assigned to the listing will be active or will be any status that you indicate for that particular listing. To see what a completed listing looks like, we're going to go into the listings tab and we're going to put in an MLS number. We're just going to search by MLS number and we're going to pull up a completed listing and we're going to click on edit. And what you'll notice when the form pulls up is that all of the fields have been filled in in this particular listing and at this point we can edit this listing and for example we'll do a price reduction on this particular listing and we'll say that the listing is 178, 178,000 and we'll move on. At this point we can view the changes and it's worth noting that as soon as you move on out of a particular field, as long as the value that you've input into that field is accurate and is not flagged as invalid, it will be automatically saved into the listings database. So at this point, if we're done with our editing, we can click Save and View Listings so that we can go to the details and perhaps print out the changes that we've done. Or we can simply click Save and get out of this particular listing and go in and edit another listing. Another thing worth mentioning is that the map on the particular listing will highlight the geo area that's selected for the listing. In this case, the geo area is NAO1, so the NAO1 boundaries for the geo area will be highlighted and the property will be mapped either by you placing the pin in the appropriate area or the system automatically indicating where the property is located based on the um, address information that's been provided. So if the property location is not correct, you can drag and drop the pin anywhere within the blue and it will still be accurate. But if you drag and drop the pin somewhere outside of the blue area, the system will mark it as invalid and one of two things is invalid. Either the location of the pin is invalid or the geo area selected is invalid. So to fix the issue and be able to save the changes to the listing, what you will need to do is either change the geo area to the accurate geo area or modify the listing's location and place the pin in the proper location. So at this point we can save and view our listing. We'll get a notification that our listing has been saved and it will be taken to the results for the particular listing and we can take a look at the details and we'll see that our price has been changed to 178 from 178,999. We'll see that it's been changed to 178 and we'll see that the map has been slightly modified since we've moved the property marker for this particular property. This concludes our tutorial on inputting a brand new listing and editing an existing listing inside of Sunshine MLS Plus.